this video, we're taking on Filipino street food that can kill you. How many calories do you think is in one leg? Sad to say I do not know about the calories. I can give you a medicine if you are a high blood. <laughs> <laughs> Butter, oil, fat, carbs. All the things that make life worth living. But if you eat too much, it'll make you dead. This is so rich and decadent. Mm -hmm. I can hear myself getting fatter. Today, we're gearing up for the ultimate heart attack tour in the city of Manila. Bro, Sonny, welcome back to Manila. From viscous mystery soups teeming with random body parts. Is that a practical joke by God? All the way to big, heavy, deep fried pork sensations. That is so delicious. It all starts here. Our first dish is a killer. Lomi, made with thick, fresh egg noodles and a rich broth jam-packed with heavy toppings. This is the lomi you eat if you lose your job, get dumped, and find out you're adopted, all on the same day. Today, I am back in the capital, and I'm here to try a type of food. I've never heard this name before. How do you describe it? It's called putok batok. First, chopped onions and garlic are added to a wok with cooking oil. Basically, it just means food that makes your high blood pressure high. Salty, soupy, greasy, fried, fried. Everything with cholesterol is good. Then the pork broth. Season it with soy sauce, secret spices, and black pepper. Toss in the signature lomi egg noodles. Add some coconut milk, then an egg, and mix until it becomes thick. With the foundation prepped, it's time for the toppings. Roasted pork, lumpia, or fried spring rolls, liver, ground pork, Chinese kikia, and fried garlic. This is where a reasonable man would stop. But no. How about fish balls, hard-boiled eggs, and finally, the chicharro? This bowl of unhinged excess belongs to Andy's famous Batangas Lomi and Bulelo. It's 90 degrees, it's very humid, and there's nothing I would rather do than stick my whole face in this huge, heaping, heavy pot of noodles and other assorted varieties of things. I think we should start with the uh, spring roll. Oh, it's meaty and crispy. It's also soaked up all this broth. Yeah. That's really good. This is a pork belly. Whoa, that's really fatty. But that is delicious. What do you think is more special about this? The toppings or what's inside? I think the most important thing is the egg noodles must be fresh, the broth must be good also. The toppings are just additional. But the signature for the toppings is the kikyam. Meet my eating Sherpa for today, Chewy, a young Filipino who documents the deepest local eats in each corner of the Philippines. All right, let's try it out. I love it. Like chewy, almost like kind of spongy flavor. If you're eating lomi, it's incomplete without adding onions and soy sauce. We've got the onions in there, the soy sauce. I'm gonna unearth and bring up the noodles. Egg noodles are probably my top three of all types of noodles. The texture, oh, they just have some yeah, good bite to it. A little bit. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, more like how they're chewy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, so hot. Oh. <laughs> I failed. I failed. Dude, you were so good at this. How did you do that? I trained with instant cup noodles. Even the noodles are so hot at this point, they've gotten quite soft. Yeah. But they're totally just saturated in that super savory, salty broth. And also the onions. It's adding a little bit of sweet element. This is, you said, a must for any lo meat. It is the liver. So I want to build up to this bite right here. Some liver, some of the noodles. I do have some onions holding on for dear life. This is a great start. Teddy is all about the over-the-top, very indulgent, very porky, oily, greasy, fried Filipino food. And sweaty. Yeah, we gotta sweat some of this salt out and replenish with more water and more food. Next on our hit list of dangerous diners, this place, serving up braised body parts you won't find just anywhere. Sir, how you doing? Very excited to be here. The name of the food is what? Paris. Oh, Paris, like in France? Paris is basically a Filipino braised beef stew, usually served with garlic fried rice. Compared to other Filipino dishes, what makes this stand out? It's the food for the masses, it's from rich people, from drivers, etc. etc. In each corner, there's Paris here in the Philippines. And they're all a little bit different? Yeah, they have their own style. Paris is so much more than just braised beef and bones. First, every beef cut you can imagine is tossed into a huge pot. Don't believe me? Let's play a little game. I want to play a little game called Guess That Organ. Oh, I love that. Our first organ here, I'm going to say this is a stomach? Like, right, 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 right. Right, 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 okay. What's this? And see, I got one of those and it's working overtime because of all the Jack Daniels I drink. <laughs> that, my friend, is a liver. Yes. Liver, yeah. All right. Oh, you're good, man. Oh, what is that? I have no idea what that is. Oh, this is called tumbong. It's near the rectum area. Can I say rectum? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Rectum. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, yes. But of course, it's ringworm. I don't know that, uh, but that's too long to be a, is that the, huh? 
Yeah. Hey, come on, it's looking at me. Put it down. So you guys really eat everything. There's nothing that goes to waste. Those cow parts are cooked for five hours before they add in mega hits of flavor. Onions, garlic, celery, green chilies, ginger, pepper, and salt. Boil everything together for one more hour and dig in. Because this is constantly on the heat. It's evaporating. It gets more condensed and then he puts in this white liquid. Is that milk? The secret to this pot of parez is to make the broth last as long as the meat does. They just call it milk, but it's not milk. So you may catch the owner dumping in some more special broth, jugs of soy sauce, and secret milk, which I'm pretty sure is just cornstarch. So it's kind of a thickening agent. Yeah, a thickening agent. Upon serving, cut all the ingredients into smaller pieces, assemble in a bowl, and finally add in that salty, viscous broth. In peak season, they can cook up to 150 pounds of offcuts and cow parts. Boom! This is butter batok. Putok batok. Putok batok meal too. I think we should try that soupy soup first. Oh, that's quite satisfying. There's so many flavors. The soy sauce, the garlic, the beef stock. There's like a hint of gaminess in there, but I like it. All right, let's try all this beef. Mmm, really tender, right? It's such an interesting combination of one, he's working all morning, kind of really crafting this meat with love. And then when he needs more broth, he just dumps an industrial sized container of soy sauce inside. So it's this mixture of fast and slow to make this work. A is not complete with the sides. You have to add more garlic, some calamansi, and licks also. A spicy chili. Let's see how much diarrhea do I want? I want this much diarrhea. So this is garlic rice. I want to try it alone to see how it tastes. Mmm, super tasty. But we don't eat it like that. We put the soup on top. Soup and meat. A little bit of liver, a little bit of heart. Let it soak up that beautiful sauce. We got the broth, heart, liver, the rice, everything together. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, that's a complete package. Oh, it's delicious. So rice cuts down some of the intensity and saltiness from the soup. That's why the Filipino community love Paris. It's really flavorful and it's really cheap. It's very accessible also. There are testicles in here, but he chopped them so tiny. Can you see? This one. Ah, right there. Have you had this before? Yeah, I love balls. Fantastic. I. Agree, actually. Not bad. What helps is everything in the bowl tastes the same. You're just getting like different textures. Okay, so try that peanut. Look at this. Oh, wow. It's like a giant scallop. It's really big. This bowl could have played for the NBA. Mm. Wow, it's been so cooked, so braised. It's become kind of gummy. To me, that didn't even taste like a penis. Have you tasted it? I mean, like in Hong Kong. Oh, okay. At a restaurant, uh, I gotta say, I'm very impressed. It does definitely feel like a bit of an indulgence, but then lots of meat, protein. It's not just a bunch of fried stuff. When you mix it with the rice, it's quite delicious. Paris. Paris. Our next savory salt bomb comes from here, the stall inside a humble carinderia that's delivering radiant noodles, guaranteed to spike your dopamine so high, you'll crash into a days-long depression right after eating. For a second, it looked healthy. When it was just noodles and like a handful of green stuff, and then she doused it with this bright orange nuclear sauce. This broth base is prepared with pork bones, salt, pepper, fried garlic, MSG, and annatto oil, which explains the bright orange color. To thicken the broth, cornstarch, and eggs. Let's try just the sauce. I like it. It is super salty. It's like triple X rated salt. Now, to bring all the elements together. First, thin rice noodles. Then, a dump truck of flavors. Fish sauce, garlic sauce, pepper, MSG, and crushed chicharron. Top that with a natto fried tofu, homemade adobo squid, a hard-boiled egg, and finally, that thick, glow-in-the-dark orange gravy. Garnish with homemade chicharro, and that is the same exact dish you'd get if you came here 80 years ago. Mm, super greasy. They're taking a shot of oil. To balance all this here, we have this. Oh, look at that balance. One gram of vitamin C. Let's just mix it. This is like the calling card for Filipino street food. This is blaze orange color. So I've got some noodles here. I've got a little bit of the crispy skin. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Mm, oh man, I need a giant Mountain Dew. Oh, is this the Mountain Dew? <laughs> oh, yes. Room temperature Mountain Dew. Mm. Balance. I gotta say, very satisfying. And is this something you find all over the Philippines? Oh, uh, yeah. All over the Philippines. We have different kinds of palabo. Miss Mayeth Arkia's stall, Bobet and Mayeth Pastora is the name, is scrunched between two others in a center packed with eating options. This is called a carinderia. The term simply means a small roadside restaurant that serves up local and traditional home-cooked food. It's so popular among locals because it brings them back to the flavors of their childhood. Down. Whew. We have one more epic food remaining. Let's go. Somehow, after all this salt, cholesterol, and pure joy, our hearts continue to tick. Our next stop might just change that. Here, they're deep fry entire portions of pig, bringing together the perfect trifecta of meat, fat, and crunch. 
Ma'am, what's a good like welcoming in the local language? Magandang araw. Magandang araw. Magandang araw. Magandang araw. What's that mean? Since 1972, Miss Judy Ann Francisco and her family have been serving up a dish known as crispy pata, a pork lover's dream. Crunchy pork skin and closing savory tender meat. It all starts with the pata. What does pata mean? The pata is the front leg of a pork. The pork trotters are pre-cooked, boiled for three to five hours with celery, onion, garlic, bay leaves, salt, and pepper. This will soften the meat and break down the fat. What I've heard is that in the Philippines, people don't usually use the back legs for the pata. Is that because that's where the pee happens? <laughs> no. The behind one, they are more on pats. After the legs rest for one hour, they're ready to take the plunge. Unlike the front legs, they are more on the meaty part. A healthy 20 minutes, fully submerged in oil until it turns a tempting shade of golden brown. Uh, so this is healthier? I just hope it won't increase your blood pressure. Oh. We are actually trying to get it through the roof. I can provide the medicine. <laughs> for you, what is the secret behind the perfect crispy pata? For me, it's our secret. For sure, it must be kept secret. <laughs> okay. When the pata is crispy, it's sliced and topped with their super freaking secret glaze that they won't disclose to me or any other food expert. Okay, I understand the secret must remain a secret, but if you're a customer, what are you looking for in the perfect crispy pata? What they're looking for us is the crispiness and the juiciness. Oh. It sounds like dessert to me. Can we put a candle in the middle? <laughs> Take a look. I think I've got the left foot and you got the right foot. Yeah. Well, this is such a big crispy pata, honey. So how many people would you usually share this with? Uh, maybe around four to five. We also have a couple of foods to accompany. This is portong alimasang, an omelet cooked with crab meat. Mm. I taste the crab. There's an egg, of course, but then just this sweet brown sauce around it. Would you consider that portong alimasang? <laughs> what do you say? Potong Would you consider that potong pato? Definitely no. No? Yeah, this is just an egg. What about this? Oh, it's not for the pot. No. Oh, this is basically a salad. This is pancit bihon, a mix of glass noodles and egg noodles cooked with pork and veggies. You have to put the calamansi, you have a little acidity, and then uh, maybe a little mix. My last healthy food before the pork. Super peppery, delicious tender European noodles. That's very nice. I'm now playing around with the side dishes. Here we have the main star of the day, the crispy pata. Oh, should we try the skin? Yeah. Mm. This the glaze is nice, kind of sweet. Yeah, a little sweet. Oh, it's a really good take. The under part of the skin is almost sticky, so it's kind of sticky on one side, crunchy and sweet on the other side. That is so delicious. Actually, this is the first crispy pata. I've seen that they have pickles also. I mean, it makes sense. You want something a little acidic, vinegary, and sweet to go with something so heavy. Oh, look at this. Dude, this is like eating chicken. Look at this big, soft piece. This thing is still steaming hot. I cannot wait. Let's go for it. Cheers. My gosh, it is so soft, tender, juicy, hot, and steamy. It should not be for children. <laughs> Let's do some anatomy. So that's like the forearm, the wrist, and then that is like kind of the hand right there. But look, I just pulled the foot off like it was nothing. I bet I could split this in half. So all of those parts have melted down. Everything between the joints, when it was boiling for three to four hours, that's when all this really got super soft. I mean, take a look at that. All that fat has rendered down beautifully. Mmm. Little bit of mm, The pickles is superb. The sweet glaze is where it's at. I wish there was a, like a bowl of honey here. We could just keep dipping it in. Mm. To me, of everything we've eaten today, by far the most satisfying. How do we know if we are successful in our putok batok mission today? Putok batok is just a hypothetical term from Filipinos, but anything that is fatty and greasy, and I think we did all of that with different aspects, different flavors, uh, different stories. I'm glad that you enjoy all of the putok batok food here in Manila. I want to say to you, my man, thank you very much. Sonny, the pleasure is mine. Cheers. Cheers. Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A piece. Uh, would you like me to give you some? Oh, hold on. I okay, can, okay, yeah, sure. Let me just... Okay. Wow. <laughs> I like onions a lot. Uh, basically, it's a rice noodle dish topped with... Hold on, you got some in your hair right there. All right, go ahead. Hold it's on. Our, oh. It went over to there now. Okay. Uh, it's probably gone. Wow, that's fantastic. It's a crossover. Crossover. Um, there's Super Ben and Morris. Oh, he just lost. He just lost it. He lost the testicle. It's swimming, you know. It's, is that what he said? I don't know where this interview is going. Boom, well, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you learned a lot about Botabato. Putok Batok. That's right. A huge thank you to my man, Chewy. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you so much. You can find him here on Facebook and YouTube, The Chewy Show. Please go check it out to find all of his fun food adventures here in Manila and beyond. ta -ra. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. 
a piece. Hey, nice one. Wow, I, I waited for five years, man. Five years? Yeah, five years. That's pretty good. Yeah.